create holes in your opponent's defense with this money play. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, I'm going to talk about a great money play that you can go ahead and throw in your scheme, and I'll, I'll let you know that you can see right here, this is in uh, a ton of playbooks. Uh, it's in the Vikings. We've also got it in, uh, actually in the Vikings twice. you got it in the Titans, uh, the Saints the Buccaneers, the Jets, Cowboys, Giants, Redskins, Cardinals, Raiders, and also the Seahawks in the spread uh, formation. But this play is probably one of the better plays in the game. There's a couple variations of it. We've got uh, ones where the tight ends are doing little uh, quick out routes, and we've got tight ends actually doing, uh, it looks like, little seam routes or, or fly routes. And you can pretty much audible, uh, you can make you can make your adjustments where you do you can take these guys, turn them into out routes, or conversely, you can do a little fly route with it with the, with the uh, uh, tight end. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this against different types of coverages. So in the uh, Cardinals playbook, we're going to be taking a look at this play, which is going to be the angle smash. And we're going to run this against man blitzes. And how I like to run this play is a fouling. Um, I want to go ahead and take my, my uh, wide receiver on the back inside, Kirk. You see he's, he's, he's doing a little hitch route. Gives you about five yards. But what I like to do is actually turn him in a smoke. And the reason I do the smoke route is that it makes me read that side, that smash concept quicker. The defender actually has to go and defend that smoke route. And it's going to tell me whether I've got a high low off the left-hand side. Um, now, uh, we can leave Grissom. On a on a quick little corner or out out route, or we can streak them up. It's pretty much your choice. And um, what what's cool about this particular this play is this is deep corner. A lot of times will get open against man coverages, uh, and you can actually make a quick read. So watch Kirk. Uh, the defender actually comes down, bites, and actually you can see the corner route was wide open. Uh, but that's the thing about man. A, a guy does a lot of man coverages. Uh, that uh, that is going to be something that you're going to be concerned about because right here, let's see here if we can get this off. No, because uh, a very a very heavy man pressure right there. So let's go ahead and try it one more time against the man. See if we can get the corner out. We can. And there you can go ahead. If you rack that thing, you can actually pick up some pretty good yards. So uh, this is, you've also got basically Johnson's route. Uh, you're going to fall, your, get yourself into an area where you're around the uh, azure, uh, user defender. So you can get yourself in trouble with that. Uh, let's, let's, let's block up the, the tight end right here. Um, also the deep comeback route. Let's see if we can get it. I don't know if we can get it. We can. Uh, no, just a bad pass right there. Uh, quarterback a uh, half a piece, but you can see the position was was uh, there with uh, the, the t uh, outside receivers. Let's see if we do it one more time. Come on. Let's see if we can get it. All right, so there you go. So if you got a guy, there's a lot of heavy blitzing. You can block up that tight end. That should open things up for you a little bit and give you some outside reads. Go ahead and, and pass protect off to the left. Let's see if we can get this. Once again, easy uh, completion against uh, any guy that does a lot of man blitzing. Well, you're going to see more cover two shells in the game. So we're just going to go ahead and once again uh, take Kirk and actually go ahead and put him on a, on a smart route in the, in the, uh, or into a smoke route. And it just gives me a faster read off the left-hand side with the smash concept to see what's going to happen with the coverage. Now, the key to actually smash is you're going to go ahead and rack the button. So as quickly as if the defender floats up, you're going to go ahead and smash the rack button, uh, which is going to be the square button on PS4 and whatever it is on uh, uh, Xbox. But you can see right here. See this defender right here? I'm reading this defender right here. If he floats up, I know that it's, I'm going to be hitting that 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 little uh, smoke route. If this defender does not come down, I'm going to definitely hit the smoke route because I want to stab. I want to piss my opponent off. I want to force him to give me five or six yards every single play because that will mess up his psychology. Once he does hard flats, what's going to happen is this route will get open, so you can actually just go ahead and check that down for an easy completion. You're going to pick up about 15 yards. So you're just establishing a basically high-low with this with the smash concept, and it's going to be very difficult to stop. And I'm not even taking into consideration where you can hit this, this backside uh, uh, halfback uh, angle route. We're just going to go and do the smash route right there. I take a smoke, smash. Defender does not fall. We're going to go ahead and rack it. And I'll take the five yards. I'll keep settling for five yards. Defender actually plays down. We're going to rack that and take those yards. So you can see I actually got a good animation right there. 
and uh, you're going to get those type of situations with the smoke route. Now he might actually go ahead and make some different types of coverage adjustments and that's where you can actually go and hit this backside uh, running back angle route. Uh, that's going to keep him honest. Let's see if we get uh, hard pressure. So okay, so right here you can see the defender actually comes down and that's where the corner route is going to be wide open. So if you, you watch that, you're, you're making these progressions so quick. He's, he's going to have our time and then you're going to leave this, this route wide, op wide open and not even taking a look at the right side at all. Now another thing you could do too uh, is you could streak up this tight end route and that actually is an a route where you can attack your opponent right over the middle too if he's not paying attention. Or you can leave it as is with a little out route and what's that that's going to do is that uh, the defender actually playing a cloud flat is going to play that out and you can actually hit the deep corner route back on the back on the back end side so just it would be very very difficult so let's see you see the corner is wide open or the deep comeback route is wide open so you can ju just go ahead and pop that against cover three once again we're going to go with the smoke route now watch the defender the defender actually goes ahead and comes down and plays that ball and I know that corner route will be open to me or at least for an opportunity so let's see if a defender actually comes out to the smoke route does uh, we can go and just check it to our next read right there which is going to be that running back route uh, or the deep corner route so I was got I played against a guy who was using cover three uh, as a shell he was giving me hard flats and I'd actually just go ahead and just try to squeeze it in uh, with this uh, little corner route right there because the defenders were not coming down to the smoke route. So let's go see if the smoke route gets covered up. It does. Now we're just going to check it over to the running back route off the right hand side. And what you could do too is go ahead and, and streak up your tight end, play the seams. Got the little running back route underneath. That's something you can dump down. So what's cool about this, even though you're only you're, you're sending five, you got five wide receivers, you're only blocking five, you're getting rid of the ball really, really quick uh, against uh, against the CPU. Uh, you're not sitting on the ball. So if he does send a lot of aggressive man blitzes, uh, you're going to be able to go ahead and uh, make a determination if if that's something you, you want to go and target right there. So uh, didn't have a good, uh, wasn't using a good animation right there because I was holding my controller, didn't rack it right away. So let's just go and see this again. So here we go. Just go ahead and check that up and pick up the four or five yards. What about the right hand side against this? Leave it with the out route. The out route actually will go ahead and cover that up. So we just go ahead and check it down and take the five yards right there. Or we can go ahead and either do a um, fade route or a, uh, a route right there, uh, which is going to be like a streak route um, to uh, attack the middle. So it just it's going to force your opponent to defend those flats, defend those out routes. You got the deep comeback route that you can go and attack. So he's, he's going to defend the outside of the fields, opening up the middle. What about a guy that runs a lot of cover four? Let's go with the smoke concept. Once again, smoke concept is going to give you that uh, harassment route underneath. You go ahead and hit him with the smoke route, rack it, and just go ahead and take a few yards against it. These guys actually come down and play a little bit tighter. So guys with cover four are probably going to be a little bit tighter on that. Uh, but the deep corner route uh, should sometimes get some pretty good leverage. So if you have a, um, the ball on the right side of the hash, you might be able to squeeze that in. What about the tight end on the back end side? Well, you've got the deep comeback route, which will not get covered if you got that little out route. But if you fade up or uh, streak up the tight end, you're basically you get no one in the area to you, uh, to you. So if you got a guy that runs a lot of cover four, my suggestion is to streak up that tight end and pull that defender out of the area, and that should probably give you a nice little completion. So uh, this is a really good play. Uh, really, it's going to be more geared towards the cover three, cover two shells. Uh, cover four is a little bit tighter reads, uh, not necessarily the best. You might want to go ahead and do something like this where you actually put a backside slant uh, on the back end side that you can attack your opponent with just to keep them honest. So once again to my subscribers, thanks for your support guys. Uh, if you do like these tips, make sure you hit that smash that like button. And to my patrons, uh, thank you once again for your support. Until next time.